Now, can you keep it there? Because we or do what you want with that one actually. We've got the other one. I forget there's a camera there too. Yeah, there is. Thank you so much. Have a Hello, day. everybody. Thank this you. is Rex Cavalera. Uh, you listen to Collision on Voice FM. See everybody on tour. Nice. But right now in the studio, I have with me a band called Cination. I've been calling them Cination. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's an honest mistake, so we are Cination, and this is Dancing Devil. <laughs> so, how are you guys going? We're good. We're good. We're good. You have a, a very interesting backstory because Josh, you live in Melbourne. Yes. Yes. Uh, but Andrew and Andrew and Simon. Yes. Uh, you live in Singapore. Yes, yes, that is very true. You guys have known each other since you were nine years old. That's right. That's and you've right. been playing together as bands for yeah. nine years. Yeah. Oh, we haven't played for the last nine years together. Mm. But I think we started playing when we were about 13. Mm. And we played together, started doing shows when we were about 15, all the way through to, what, 20? 19, 20? 20, 22, actually. Yeah, around yeah, around twenty-two. Yeah. And how old he is now? <laughs> I'm pretty young. We're thirty-two. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we've been together for since we were kids, man. Kids. It's just a um, blessing, blessing that uh, we are able to come back together and play again. <laughs> Early. Did you just drink? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna progressively get worse. Very excited. So tell us. Simon, what do you play? I play the guitar. So basically, yeah, all that rock stuff you hear just now, it's all me. Mm. And a partner of ours, who is not here today, unfortunately. We've got one more member who yeah. isn't able to travel oh, over right. at the moment. So yeah. you got another, oh, you know, you're a guitarist. Yeah. We've got so you've got a bass player. He's the bass player. He's the, the bass, bass player. player. And we've yeah. got another guitarist, Charles. So you've got three guitars. Yep. Yep. Oh. I don't play as much as I pose with it. Alright. Yeah, they play, do most of the guitar play. It's, we used to be called Cynical Annihilation, and we would play really heavy, like death metal stuff. Mm -hmm. And when we started doing this new material that's more rock based, we thought that was too metal of a name. So we just took two words and went. We became more, we never planned it. I think we became more rock because look, we still really love metal, but we wanted to be able to have the freedom to do, you know, different styles of songs. Mm -hmm. And we felt that, you know, with rock, we had a bit more freedom to explore. Um, like on Dancing Devil, it's a little bit, a lot of funk influence in it. Mm -hmm. And in some songs we want to do slower numbers. Whereas when we were doing metal, and I love metal for that, but there is kind of a one dimension. You can't do a ballad in a metal album. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you want to do a ballad. Wow. And we just wanted to have that option. We don't really... I think we don't have a formula so much as mm -hmm. we... If that feels right to write it at that time, mm -hmm. that's what we'll write. Yeah. yeah. It's called Dancing Devil. You want to tell us a bit about it? Well, Dancing Devil... Well, put it bluntly, it's about um, strippers. <laughs> um, it's about the adult industry. Is that legal in Singapore? Strippers? No. 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 I was going to say, because not much is in Singapore, is it? Even chewing yeah. gum's not legal. Yeah. 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 It's not legal. No. It's not legal at all. Yeah. If you chew gum, you're a bad boy. Yeah. Because yeah. no one wants gum on the bottom of their shoe. That's true. And well, if the Singapore yeah. government's listening to this, Simon's requesting for strip clubs to become legal in Singapore. <sighs> Egg right. gum. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Dancing Devil. It's mainly about strippers, but it's not so much 
about the girls themselves. It's more about society, you know. We always say things like sex sells, but nobody ever asks the question who's buying. And that's the kind of things we want to explore. And also things such as who are these men that, you know, use this industry? Why do they think that just because they're paying these girls they can disrespect and mistreat them? So it's a song that also explores, you know, things like temptation, how society is irrevocably drawn towards it, yet nobody wants to openly talk about it. So we're really just, you know, taking the lid off the unspoken. Um, that was really interesting. We actually worked with an artist from Boston, Massachusetts. His name's Nick LeBlanc. And I came across his profile on Instagram. Thought he did amazing work. He's a photographer and a graphic artist. And he's only 19 years old, but he does some brilliant work. And I reached out to him, said, hey, would you like to work with us on some cover art? And we had this idea of what we wanted and we needed a cover model for it as well. So I approached a friend of mine, um, Tracy Lee, who's, um, she's actually an accountant, she's a qualified accountant, but she just has this look that I absolutely love. You know, she's got great tattoos, she's a very beautiful woman, but she also has this strength to her in her look. And we thought that was so important with the cover of Dancing Devil that it's not just about a sexy girl on the cover. She's gotta have that defiance and that strength you know, in her features and in the attitude she's giving. So Tracy and Nick, together with the ideas that we had, came together and created this awesome cover. Hey, it's Josh and I've got Tracy here and we are shooting some photos. Harvey! And we've got Harvey. And we're shooting some photos for the cover of the Dancing Devil single. And I can't show you the rest of the photo shoot because social media has all these issues about nudity. So that's where we're going to stop the video. Say bye, Harvey. So, any, what, so how does it work? Like, how did you just record? Did you get together to record the single? Or? No, we actually, um, I would come up with demos that are sent to them, and they would basically take that, mm -hmm. get the drums and guitars down, send it back to me, and we do vocals and the mix in Melbourne. Right. So it's yeah quite a process. It's always weird in the studio, you don't know what to do with your fucking hands. <laughs> Can you just turn the music up a little bit? A bit more breath in this one. Yeah, yeah definitely. Because I think some bits I'll have to because it kind of drags the you know last note from the chorus into the next bridge. Um what do you suggest? I'm um, I'm easy. I don't I don't mind losing my voice by the end of the day, but yeah, we probably just have to get through the session. Dance, dance for me. 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 Just feel it. Just, I mean, it, I don't think it matters really where it is in the context either. So, I mean, stop, do it like you do it, but just. Just try and get the motherfucker out, yeah. like so. It's really intense. Yeah. Listen up, motherfucker. I think that was better. Yeah, it sounded better to me. Let's have a listen. Listen up, you motherfucker. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, that's wicked, man. That's definitely it. That sounds great. We wanted to do something like, you know what? Um. And Tara did on Cowboys from Hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're taking over this town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's quite a process. Yeah. And you rehearse over the computer. Yeah, we kind of have these FaceTime sessions. Yeah. Oh, you, you do like your face um, time and life. Oh, yeah, we do, we do. <laughs> Ooh. 
We are recording now. As in the video record, the video is recording now. Alright. Say hi. Hey hi. <laughs> oh, I like this man. No, I think you I like think this. That was better, yeah, man. Now I'm now I'm starting to know what Shah likes. Hey bro, you know what? This is everything, man. You don't need an M, shit. Yeah, you don't. That's what that, that's what I've been talking about. And you're only using bias. I haven't even run you through the X effects. Well, um, you know, that song, and you know, I, I, I figured out, you know, if they, if I, you know, applied some funk techniques to it, you know, spice it up a little bit, it sounds more dynamic, it just, it's not just an ordinary rock song. Did you draw inspirations for Dancing Devil from specific songs or artists? You know, I draw some funk influence to that song. So basically, yeah, 70s disco. T tell us about guitar that you on Dancing Devil and can you tell us a bit more about that guitar and what you like about it? Well I'm using uh, the Richie Cotton signature Telecaster it's awesome awesome sounding guitar you can see over here pretty much pretty much uh, you know uh, it just feels good sounds good I'm gonna spare you the technical stuff of it I will fill you in with the technical, technical stuff Shit about this guitar. <laughs> and yes, I'm the guy. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> but it's great. <laughs> it's mine. It's the guy know. behind the camera. Yeah. Me. I will tell you the technical stuff. Yeah. You just okay. tell them how it feels. It feels good. You know? Like, <laughs> That's it? Feels good? What else? It's Does like, it feel smooth? Yeah, feels like sexy routine. cousin. <laughs> right. Okay. You want some Zegwell in your life? You're smoking, huh? That's not fair! <laughs> <laughs> Any possibility to do maybe like a Chris Isaac at the last note, bro? <laughs> Chris Isaac? What the fuck oh, was that? Man, that's it. You got a lot of games well, there. Well, names his um, <laughs> techniques after like, you know, has been 80 singers. Alright, uh, my approach to guitar sometimes can be very, very weird, you know. Most of us will, you know, uh, relate skills and stuff like that. Well, I do too. But uh, it, it's more like you know, I, I, like Chris Isaac. You, you mentioned it's it's that wailing voice of his, that kind of tough stuff, you know. So I kind of like uh, get that inspiration to get some notes based on that. Uh, there's nothing much to say. Basically, that. Awesome, um, Chris Isaac. Maybe do a bit of a Billy Ocean squeal. <laughs> hey, at least I'm, I'm not asking for Peter Gabriel, you know. <laughs> I was totally uncalled for. Gonna play over with Drew? Yeah, I'm fucking Drew now. <laughs> Bro, we can't go too, too less for Dancing Devil, man. <laughs> Dancing Devil is a heavy track. Okay, then. Jam. Hey guys, today I'm gonna record the solo for Dancing Devils and um, this is how it goes down here man, at my home studio. Actually it's just my room, 
which is the studio, as you can see, this beautiful equipment around here. And let's do some tune up. As you all know, tuning your instrument is very important because, well, Tough, tough, tough. That's tough, man. That's tough. Tough, 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 tough. This is tough. recording session for my solo. I think we got the right take. Well, we'll see you. This is the end of it. Cheers, man. Cheers. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hi, my name is Andrew. Currently 32 years old. I'm from Singapore. Yes. What's your nickname? <laughs> they call me MC Big Bad. No shit. <laughs> And your favorite kind of pig based thing. Yeah. Boy, playing with a pig. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's playing with a pig. Uh, Give it the. Versus Steve Harris? Yeah, yeah, he it the very metal sound. <laughs> I think your attack needs to be sharper. Ta 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 ta. Don't try to save time, just record. No saving time, it's the same thing. I play the it is still the same. I know but the touch and the feel is different. The same. <sighs> really? You copy and paste, you see? Same. As a Andrew Teo. Same. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. Fine! I think it's the same. Okay. Yeah, the intro, no? Yeah, the intro. Yeah, the intro, you know. You know. Somebody don't know how to use the program. Fuck you lah, so I don't know how to use the program. I'm the guinea pig, law. Law. Law my guy lah, law. Ready? Oh, wait. I'm gonna take selfie at you. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Take, take selfie at you. Okay, take. I'll be a cop first. You're calling one photo. Okay. I don't really have like to follow the drums. So. No. Title lah, <laughs> 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 Now you record then you tell me you don't want What kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> the fuck bro? Play, play, play. Correct? Yes, it's so much easier to record I told you already just now to record with the drum track only you don't want I thought, I thought very familiar ma Then I realised that if I don't record it's going to be hard I told yeah. you, I told you very very long ago Actually, I made a mistake there. Already. Yeah, you did. I know. <laughs> I did play the third turn. Yeah. How's that? Andrew, why did you play the ring? <laughs> I saw it. Oh, yeah. No, don't do it. Don't. Oh, thank you. Let's try it. Right. You know what? Just be record. Just what the record. fuck? Come on. You can do it, Andrew. He doesn't know I'm a purist. 
when it comes to recording, as much as technology rules, certain things needs to be re-recorded. Simon, can you please tell me what it was like recording and working with Andrew? In a professional sense, I think Andrew, it's a very well-versed bassist uh, because he has, uh, well, for the fact that he has degree in music, he better be professional, you know. But other than that, uh, yeah, he has the groove, he has the touch, he, he knows what he's doing, he knows, what's to, uh, he knows what to play, and I think he applies his bass chops very musically to Dancing Devil. It literally makes you want to dance because of his bass. Can you now tell me honestly how you feel about Andrew? My un unprofessional opinion about Andrew. I love that bitch, but he is a bitch. You know why he's a bitch? <laughs> you know why he's a bitch? Because I have to re-record him every time he goes out of time! Which is freaking annoying! But I still love him. You know, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a jazz thing, you know. He's like, no bro, no, I'm just playing a bit behind the beat. No bro, I'm playing a bit ahead of... Just play on a bit, you bitch! But yeah. You need to embrace the lazy sound. Can I think of a hot Hi, welcome to Signature TV. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so... What was it like recording you, Simon? It was... A very... Very nice experience. As you can see, there's a lot of sarcasm there. Yeah, he's quite a bitch, as you You know, B-I-T-C, bitch. Yes, you know, he's always not answering my calls to pick me up from his house. The door will never open for me. He left his keys outside once. So we were waiting outside the house for half an hour. So he's quite a bitch. Yeah, so okay, on a serious note. Yeah, actually it was quite quite good. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's a, it's a cool thing that he has all the equipment here so we can record at his house. Yeah, so it's very different from where we used to record last time at the stu studio, like professional studio. We had to book time and go in and record. Over here, we have a lot of freedom. We can like, take breaks, long breaks, we can have coffee. And Simon is a very... Um, Easy guy to work, work with, so I find it very cool. It's a bit anal, but I think that's a good good thing. Yes. By no means, I like to do anal. He secretly loves them. So <laughs> girls. You know. Okay, this is a little preview of the whole track that we have done. Andrew, do you have anything to say? Listen on for the awesome bass player. Fuck you. Anyway, Fucking awesome. Here goes. <laughs> Listen up, you motherfucker. Whoa!
was Sonation's debut single, Dancing Devil, that we just heard, and we have Sonation. <laughs> debuted your single today, which we'll play again soon, but when can we expect maybe to hear another track from you guys? You got something like you're working on to get out again, or you're yeah, working yeah. on a video? What are you up to? We're actually working on the next track. Um, yeah, single? we've got the next single up. We're yeah. actually, we're going to release the next single, and we're working on a five-track EP mm -hmm. that hopefully will be done by end of the year. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then sometime next year, follow it up with a tour. Awesome. You? Yep. Right. Looking forward to it. That, actually. Um, so, anyway, you guys, of course, because you're a bit distant at the moment, aren't yep. touring right now, but you've got plans to possibly tour next year? Yes, that's right. Yes. But you need a drummer for that? We do need a drummer. Yeah. Yes, and we do. You just heard their, their debut track, so you've got a bit of a taste of what they're about, and we will be playing it again a little bit later in the show. We just love what we do so much that it's tough. I think it's always been tough. Mm -hmm. You know, there's we sometimes look back at, we talk about 70s, 80s, and we, you look back at it a little bit with like rose tinted glasses. You know, I think there were the were same, I'm well, not the same, but there were different challenges at that time too. Some things have gotten better, some things have gotten worse. Um, for us, I think we just find if you want to, there's always an excuse not to do it. You know, so there's no point looking for them. You just try to make the best of what you got. Very true. Because you've got no other choice. You've got to use what you've got now. That's all we know how to do anyway. And just yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't expecting hey. that to finish. If there's any high school students in Ballarat oh, who's what? listening, <laughs> what, what, what's going on here? <laughs> we want to say that it's really awesome that you're listening to metal music and you oh. should never change that. Definitely. Yes, definitely. I was a bit worried about what you were going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Sinition Band at Sinition Band on Instagram. Something and like that. Is it Sinition Band on Facebook? Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> Something like see, that. You see, bro. You see, bro. You just, you just, just Google it. See there's just so many things going on. I can't remember all of them. Do it. Sinition. Yeah, is, is it? Yeah. One word. Sinition. One word. Sinition Band. It sounds like two everything. Words. Like at C Nation Band Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, and www.cnationband.com. Go yeah. check it out. What do you mean by I'm more of a model than a guitarist? So now I'm not handsome. Now you're more handsome. That bloody ass. We're going to be talking about Dancing Devil, the cover art. And, um, hey, buddy. Ah! Audrey, we're filming! This is Adriana. You wanna say meow? Meow, alright. Are these gonna make it into the final cut? Yeah, she's not technically part of the band, but she's gonna be in. Say hi to everyone on YouTube, Dree. <laughs> Thank you all for supporting us. Thank you for buying the track if you did. If you didn't, it's okay. It's on uh, Spotify. Go take a listen. Uh, thank you for following us. Thank you for listening to our nonsensical self. Any um, any any words for the fans of C Nation? Oh yes. Um, thanks for all the support. Thanks for the guys in Albania uh, as well for all the support. Yes, and to I just think it's in here. <laughs> and to Lee Brad Show for Mando Mando Magazine. Thanks a lot for featuring me and uh, for giving us a chance to have an interview with you guys as well. And uh, thanks to Paris for all the support he's been giving us down in Houston. I hope everything is fine there. Oh yeah, shout out to Mira as well, who has been our angel. Sean, do you have uh, any special message or thanks that you would like to say to the fans of the nation that have been supporting the Dancing Devil single? 
thank you for digging it, you know? Thank you for listening uh, to the song and supporting it. Uh, I love it. Yeah. I'm about to cry. Yeah. Hi, fans and friends from Albania. Thank you for your support. Uh, we really appreciate it. And uh, we love to go there and do a show for you guys. And looking forward to seeing you guys. And you can see my pretty crappy face here. But other than that, yes, we are looking forward to seeing you guys. What do you have to say, Sean? Same thing. <laughs> Yo, Wait, hang on. I'm we're supposed yet. to film your, uh, thank no, you, man. I'm already in character, but I'm not ready. Well, what, what if we just do it since we're already here, you know? Nah. Do you have anything to say to the fans? Oh, man, I wanted to get the guitar and play something. The guitar you know? play? Come on, man, let's do, let's do stage. Oh, fuck. Nah, this is not the one, man. Come on. Just give, a, give us a thank you. Come here, dog. Thank you to all the Sination fans, everybody who's been supporting us, buying our stuff. Man, this is really fucked up in last minute. Uh. We, there's so many people that we have to thank. Um, first and foremost, our family who have put up with us and the ridiculous videos that we put out. Um, we possibly make you proud and embarrassed at the same time. Our wonderful publicist, Amira Baba Musta, you are a fucking legend. I don't know what else to say about it. And the great people of Albania for your amazing support. And also, so many of our friends and fans from around the world, you guys have been really awesome. And you make what we do so much more special. So thank you. Don't mind the dog. Now, Eric, get the fuck out of my room, alright? Jesus.